everyone and welcome to another episode of Reading Intervention with Miss Malone. Today we're going to be going over synonyms and reviewing some of the skills we went over last week. So um, as we went over last week, synonyms are words that have the same meaning or same or similar meaning to one another. And so just like how you can say um, something is towering, something is tall, they both mean the same thing. They both mean tall, right? And so I wrote down some synonyms today to help us review what a synonym is. And then we're going to do some practice cards, um, do some sentence activities, and then I'm going to give you your challenge of the day. So, so we have smart and the synonym for smart or a synonym, one of the synonyms for smart is intelligent. Then we have delicious. Okay, you're thinking, okay, what's another word that can mean delicious, right? And we, I wrote down the word tasty, right? Then we have big. I wrote huge, because that means the same thing as big. And then hard, like something is hard to do. I put difficult. So I was able to come up with different ways of saying the same exact word. Using what we came, what, what we went over today, let's go over how we can use these skills to identify synonyms on some practice cards. Okay, so we're doing exactly what we did yesterday. Okay, so welcome back guys. Here's our practice problem of the day. Which words mean the opposite of dark? So synonyms are when it has the same meaning. Antonyms mean they have the opposite meaning. So are we looking for Antonyms or synonyms in this situation? Antonyms. So first, let's find the antonyms. Dark means, you know, hard to see, right? So let's see if we can read some of these words and then figure out which ones are the antonyms for the word dark. Read the first one with me. D -i -m, dim. Okay. Seems dim is kind of the same as dark. All right, so we'll keep that. Looking for the opposite. What about bright? When something is bright. Bingo. What about pale? Pale. So pale is like when something is um, a lighter color. So I think we can, I think that's the opposite. What about light? Good job. That is the opposite of dark. What about the word gloomy? Mm, I think that's the same. What about night? Night? Night is usually dark, right? So let's look at these three words that we found. So we found three antonyms, because that's what the question asked for. They asked for the opposite words. But let's look at the synonyms. The synonyms are having the same meaning as the word dark. So we have, we found the word dim, gloomy, and night. So depending on the situation, you can change. Instead of using the word dark, you can use dim gloomy or night and it'll mean the same exact thing and that's what synonyms are all about let's keep going and welcome to the challenge of the day so today we have three sentences here that we are going to try to come up with um synonyms for so after we read the sentence we are going to identify the underlying word and then we're going to come up with a synonym for that word, a word that means the same thing. All right, so let's try number one. She was very happy to see her mother. What's our underlined word? Happy, wonderful. So here's our underlined word. What's another word for happy? Can you think of one? She was say excited to see her mom, see her mother, joyful. 
all that, right? These are different words we can use for happy. Let's try this next one. He thought that baking cookies was hard. He thought that baking cookies was hard. What's our underlined word? Hard, you're right. What's another way we can say hard? Something can be hard, something can be what? Difficult, complicated, right? We have difficult. Complicated, right? Okay, here's our last one. Number three. The movie was scary. What's our underlined word? Scary. And we're going to think of a word that is the same as scary. Now, I'm thinking of one right now, and it starts with a T, but I'm kind of curious to see if there are other ones that I haven't thought of before. Let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. We yeah, have frightening, right? What about terrifying? So we have frightening, terrifying. These are all words we can use instead of scary. They are all um, synonyms for the word scary. The movie was frightening. The movie was terrifying. The movie was scary. Wonderful. And that concludes today's lesson. But here is your job for today. The word of the day is little. So I want you to get a piece of paper, write down the word little, and think of as many synonyms as you possibly can. And if you can't think of any more, try to find someone in your house to help you come up with some more words you can use instead of the word little. But, like I said, that does conclude today's lesson. So, if you have any questions about this lesson or our curriculum in general, feel free to email me at smalone at uplifteducation.org. And y'all have a wonderful day.